<sighs> Remind me again, uh, we we are sent by whom <laughs> to, to hear the uh, the guy from Zadash? Cobalt. Um, Cobalt Reserve. Yeah, what's his name again? Dr. Zenoth. Zenoth, that's right, mm-hmm. that's right. And uh, that's... An expositor Diron. Yeah, and he sent us here to talk about stuff. What stuff? We got permission from the Cobalt Soul to investigate the Chain of Oblivion. Chain of Oblivion, of course, yes. And yeah. we have done that great guys, good for what, the city. What are you guys, what? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Do oh, not shit, know. you don't even know. I oh. kept referring to this. What are you talking about? Oh, hey, sure. when did you, when did you leave? I'm, I'm a part of like a, um, like a, Huge establishment arcing across the entire globe and network of a monastery oh, wow. called the Cobalt Soul. I don't know if I've ever told you that. You might have just thought I was still like a shit kicker. No, I, when you I, left, I am I am familiar with the Cobalt Soul. Also, you weren't actually following this thing called the Angel of Irons. You were following the Chained Oblivion. Mm-hmm. Did you were you aware of anything, or were you just sort of a mindless robot? I was fully aware of everything. I just had no control over what I was doing and the choices that I, I couldn't make any. I couldn't make any choices. I knew that you, you didn't want to be evil, Yasha. Thank you, Jester. I was on the fence. So, Fair. question. Because you don't remember much past when you woke up. And you're called the Orphan Maker. Yeah. Has all of this happened to you before? Yeah. I, um. All of the sort of uh, time that I lost in between, or after I left the tribe, I guess. Uh, Oban had found me before, and. We traveled together and did very bad things, but um, I didn't remember until he found me again, and a lot of things are still coming back to me now. How did you break free before? Well, I was... uh, I somehow came upon a, a shrine of the Storm Lord. And I sort of, I I woke up uh, still feeling out of sorts, but I could, I felt a little bit more me. Wow. Uh, uh, wasn't Oban only interested in individuals who had a prolonged existence, a, re- a resistance to death? And are you immortal? No, I'm not immortal, but it's it's what he would call his unstoppable family. So why were you unstoppable? Well, I, I think uh, we can die and come back a little bit easier than other people. That was just innate in you, or he gave that to you? I. <clears throat> I think it's something that I maybe already had. Wow. But where'd you get it? I I don't know. Yasha's a superhero. <gasps> Yasha's a superhero, just like Oh my god. No, I mean I can I can I can die of course and if I died and and somebody left me there and didn't do anything, I I don't think I would just like come back to life. I think it's just it's just very easy to, to, to bring me back, I guess. Yasha, have you ever had a halo? What's a halo? It's like a circle around your head that glows all the time. Yeah, this girl we traveled with, Rini, she had one. Uh, she was a superhero. Yeah. yeah. I've never had anything above my head but my hair and, uh, you know, if things are flying around. Maybe a hat. I don't feel a halo. Oh, you have like w- w- wings. 
what ish. Are... Yeah. Yeah, but that, that's I mean that's something that we comes talk. out at weird times. It's it's not real. To catch you up, we've been chasing this <clears throat> angel lions, which is a terrible entity called Theresdun, Theresdun, the chained oblivion. And we've been chasing that that entity because of your mission for the Cobalt Soul, right? Absolutely. Cool. Got approval cool, cool. from day one. Yep, yep, okay. Sanctioned okay. mission. Yep. Yeah, that is the story. All for the Empire. <laughs> yep, I believe. We, we met some members of the Cobalt Soul. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, you did, yeah. you did, Yasha. That was when I felt like I knew you were either definitely evil or definitely, yeah. You knew it was either one of those things. That's a binary choice. That, yes, yeah, it was definitely evil not. Evil or not yourself. Yasha, yes. did you leave this <clears throat> plane of existence at any time? I know that's a strange question, but did you travel anywhere that wasn't here? Yes. Do you remember what for? Or where? It was mainly for travel. <laughs> what you read? You hand me that page. You know? <laughs> <laughs> we just traveled a lot. Okay. But I um, think we were. <laughs> what one thing? Just I, we should all we should focus on what we're going to say in there, of course. But real quick. This thing about you being a little bit more likely to become alive again after you're dead, what, did something draw you to Molly Mock? Well, how did you meet him? Because didn't he say that the same thing happened to him? He clawed his way out of the grave. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I just, I, I, I met him because when I finally came to, I I, I came upon, upon their circus, and I met them, and I met Molly Mock and the rest of them, and it was just happenstance that I came across them, and what? he became my friend. Did anything particularly draw you to each other? Other than the fact I that mean, you're both wonderful? Well, yeah, of That's, course. Well, I mean, I was drawn to him because he was Molly Mark. I don't think there was any reason we were brought together, but I'm I'm very glad he, he found me when he did. Speaking of, check it out, I got this dope tattoo that was very much like his. Yeah, look at that. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> it's healed now. Oh, I do they, have they a, a, a question. <laughs> yeah, um, why are you speaking differently? <laughs> oh. Right. He got kicked by a donkey in Zadash. <laughs> Messed up his whole head. <laughs> Forgot who he was, couldn't walk for days. <laughs> Peed his pants, he was a mess. He's just starting to walk and talk again now. That can't be true. No, it I is. don't feel like if you were kicked in the head by a donkey, you would start talking differently. He mm. bent over to tie his shoe, got kicked in the head by a donkey. <laughs> totally different guy. I think I know a guy in Texas that happened to. <laughs> <laughs> is he British now? <laughs> <laughs> he got kicked up. Yeah. Oh, God. That oh. man's name is Hugh Grant. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, you're, you're not uh, imagining things. I, um, I had pretended to sort of emulate um, Someone I looked up to very much, and um, I found while you were away that there was no point in trying to be someone else. I should just try and live this life as me, and while this voice had not served me very well previously, I've decided to give it a go, because fuck it. Hmm. Well, this is actually not the way that I talk. What? <gasps> I was just kidding. Oh! <laughs> 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 Question. 
<laughs> are the two guards like noting. ping pong, <laughs> listening oh, to think. all of this? You guys are far enough away where they, you, unless they have some super hearing, they can't hear How you. Far away? They're forty. Uh, they're probably like close to thirty feet from you guys. I imagine you guys are having this conversation like closer to near away. the windows. Mm-hmm. Um, so they're, but they're they're less hearing and more just watching you to make sure you don't do anything funny. Caleb is listening to all the shenanigans around him and is bathed in a total cold sweat. Okay. But turning attention towards what might happen in there, no mention of visits across the old uh, mm-hmm. range. I would also assume that these walls of ears. Mm. What? The what? The might be monitoring. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. So don't fart. For untrustworthy folks. Because people not don't like us. it when you fart yeah. in their castle. Really? Mm. I've heard. Why are you so stressed, Caleb? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> he just really got to fart. And he's holding it in, I can see it on his face. He's sweating because of it. There's Sometimes so much for us to well, ca- catch up on. I am certainly not one to judge, so if you need to fart, you can fart. Perhaps you should do us all a favor and fart, Caleb. Don't do it, don't do it in the castle. Don't, they really don't, don't like it. Don't fart and lose if you'll yeah, never you should forgive yourself. To fart. There's nothing there. <laughs> Can I keep an eye on the back of his pants for a little Plinko machine action? Oh. <laughs> Don't look at my poo muscles. All right. 